Hello, it's Linda here at Papercraft with Crafty um, and today's project is this one. I'm calling this my chocolate box clutch bag, for want of a better term. If you can think of something better, then let me know. Um, anyway, I've got this box, it's kind of triangular in shape and it has a magnetic closure which just snaps shut here like that. Uh, and when it opens, you can see it's they're old size, there's an awful lot of chocolates in there. I've just sort of put something in there to give you an idea of the size of the box. Um, you can see here on these corners that um, I've punched out a pretty detail using the new um, curvy corner trio punch here from Stamping Up, which is in the new uh, autumn winter catalogue, seasonal catalogue. Um, so that's my box. And I'm going to get on now and I'm going to show you how to put one together. Um, you can see here I have heat embossed in clear embossing powder this beautiful design all over my, my bag, my box. Um, and for that I use this stamp set here. So it's a wood mounted set. It's called Papillon Potpourri. Um, these are the two stamps that I picked out uh, to use to stamp on my cardstock. So I'm going to get on now and I'm going to do that. Alright then, for this project you need a piece of cardstock which measures 10.5 by 12 inches and with the side of the cardstock along the top here that measures 12 inches and this side panel here is 10.5, what you're going to do is stamp down the central panel here of your cardstock. Okay, so you need an embossing buddy. And I've got the two stamps that I selected from my stamp set. And I have my clear Versamark pad here. And I'm just literally going to stamp this design now just down the central panel. If you look at this as being divided into um, thirds, so that's one third two-thirds so this center panel here is where you're going to just do some stamping so I'm just going to go all the way over my cardstock like this and take my little butterfly and fill in some of these gaps Okay, and then I'm just going to grab my clear embossing powder and I'm just going to cover it in, cover my images with it, like that. You can see there's a few areas I've missed. And you can also see there are some areas, can you see there, where, where powder has stuck where I don't want it to. So I'm just going to go around now and just tidy up my stamped images and I'm going to heat, heat emboss those now um, using my, my heat tool. Okay, so everything's now set. Um, I'm just ready for us to do some scoring and some cutting. So bring in my board here, my Simply Scoreboard. And what have I done with my stylus? There we go. So with the um, piece of cardstock that measures 10 and a half inches along the top of your board here, you're going to do some scoring at three quarters of an inch, three and three quarters, six and three quarters, and at nine and three quarters. And then you're going to flip your cardstock round and you're going to score at three inches and at nine. Okay, and now you can see that you've got all of your embossing or your design, however you choose to do it, down just down the centre there of the cardstock. 
Okay, um, actually whilst you've got your card there, put it back in with, on the side that measures ten and a half inches and just make yourself a notch at five and a quarter inches there. Flip your card over and do exactly the same on the other side, like that. Okay, and grabbing a steel rule, just going to score a line from this corner here up to that notch and back down. And the same on the other side. So that's all of the scoring done and now all we need to do is go around and burnish all of the score lines. And before we can, well, yeah, before we can burnish those um, triangular ones, we actually need to do some cutting. So, taking my scissors, I've got some magnets over here, and they didn't want to let my scissors go. Right, what you're going to do, you're going to cut out the four rectangles that you've got on each corner here. Okay, and what you need to do is snip down to that inside. Um, score line. So you're just going to take your scissors and then get rid of the triangle, I'm um, sorry, the rectangles. So that's that done, and now you're able to just burnish these score lines here. So just fold your paper in on itself like that, and do the same on the other side. Okay, and that's everything prepped now. Um, this is where you're going to bring in the, um, if you've got one, the curvy corner trio punch and I'm only going to be um, punching out two of these corners okay you don't need to do you don't need to do all four so I'm just going to do these two here I'm going to take my cardstock push it in here put it right in and punch and do the same here punch so it's just those ones and then what you're going to do is put some double sided tape along here, 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 here and on the other side. So I'm going to go off and do that now and I'll be back in a moment. Okay so I've gone ahead and I've prepped all of my um, little panels here. So I'm just going to work in pairs at the moment. So I'll do these two first. And all you need to do is bring your cardstock up like this. press it down, oops, and the same with this one. And then with this side as well.
And there you have it. That's the basic box formed now. Um, so you can see it comes together like that. Um, so we now need to look at just dressing it and putting on the magnetic clip. Alright, so to make up this pretty little um, closure here, I have used my flower shop um, stamp set and I used this motif here. Um, there is a knack to uh, using this particular stamp with the pansy punch um, and there's a really good tutorial um, which shows you exactly how to do it, how to line it up so you get the perfect cut every time uh, by France Martin. Um, so have a look out for that. I'll put a link um, for that on my blog uh, so you can follow that and see exactly how she does it. But I've already stamped out and I have heat set my image here and I'm just going to use my pansy punch now. Just to punch out the flower, like that. I have here, I found this in my stash, pretty little um, embellishment, which I'm just going to mount in the centre of my stamped flower. And then I've got here my one and three quarter inch scallop circle punch. I have my two inch punch, so I'm just going to punch out one of those and one of those, like that. So I should be layering that. And whilst I've got this piece of cardstock, I also have here my note tag punch. So I'm going to punch out one of those like that. Let me just pop that to one side. So this little um, tag that we just punched out, you just need to put a little score line in here. So if I put that in at about five inches, I'm going to score roughly at about five and three quarters. All right, just like that. Okay, so I've got that and I've got these, so I'm just going to, like I say, layer these on each other. So that one's going to go on there like that. And then this one will sit on this circle like that. And then what I'm going to do is put some double sided tape on here and here. And I'll bring my box back in and fold it down like that and work out roughly where is central on here and where I folded, put that score line hopefully you can see that that's going to sit nice and flush along there like that and I'm just going to bring the top down like that so you've got like this nice little flap here and then what I'm going to do is mount this on here like that so this will then whoops this will then come down and just make that nice little uh, what would you call it centerpiece a little centerpiece there so just going to take some tape for that And put a couple of pieces on. And I want that to sit quite nice and central on there.
like that. So that's going to come across like that. And it's just now a case of putting on the magnet. Okay, so I've got my magnets here. They're very, very small, very slim, very strong. Um, I got these from eBay and I will put a link to that on, on my blog for you. And uh, I highly recommend these. They're great for projects like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate them. Over here, I've got a little circle punch. So I'm just going to punch myself out circles. I'm going to take my glue dots. I'm going to put one on there like that. And I'm going to put one of these on the other side like that. So I've covered up my my magnet. I'm going to put another glue dot on here like this. I'm going to pop that there, nice and central on that. Okay, and then I'm going to take my other magnet um, and I'm just going to stick that on there like that. And then I'm going to take a glue dot and pop it on the back. So you've now got like a little sandwich here. And I'm just going to take my box like that, sit this lid here, this bit here nice and flush, fold this over, and then stick that down firmly, like so. And lift this, okay? So now you can see that that's going to snap shut. Whoops, like that. So you've got quite a nice firm closure there now. I'm just going to finish off by taking my other little circle, put a glue dot on the back of that and I'm just going to, oh I don't know what that is, I've just discovered something disgusting on the back of my finger. <laughs> so there we go, that's that. Nice firm closure on my box. So um, I hope you found that easy to follow. I um, hope it didn't confuse you too much. These are great magnets. Like I said, I will be putting a link. I've actually got a link to um, my supplier on my Facebook um, somewhere as well. So I'll be putting the Facebook link for that as well as his eBay shop on, on my blog. So hopefully um, if you need to get hold of some of those, you'll find it nice and easy to find. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this project. I've enjoyed showing you it and I will be back with another one for you shortly. All details for this box will be on my blog which is www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk and any of the products that you've seen here that I have used that you might like to get your hands on can be purchased via my online shop which you will also find on my blog. So thank you for watching today and I'll be back with another project for you very shortly.